Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ, this is WD Detailing, and today we're at this abandoned property because we were notified that there's an abandoned car in the garage and we lifted up the garage to find a 1968 Buick Skylark in probably the worst shape of a car that we've ever seen. I mean, look at this thing. It's got full size, I don't know if those are dog turds or, or geese turds. I don't know how a geese would even get in here and figure out how to perch and take a dump on this car, but um, the uh, the silver lining is if we can't save this car, we can uh, enjoy a bunch of free irons and keep our clothes wrinkle free and just some free toasters to uh, toast our toast. So stay tuned. So as we start getting this car out of the garage, we had our friend who has a flatbed pull it out for us because there was no way we were going to be able to get it ourselves. But anyways, while we're doing that, I want you guys to take a second and see if we can smash a like goal of 7,000 likes. We've hit like goals of 5,000, then 6,000, and now 7,000 is the next one we want to do. And we know you guys can easily destroy that probably in one or two days. So let's see if we could do it by the end of the weekend. But this video is really cool because there was a lot of satisfying content we were able to get out of this car and the end result was actually spectacular compared to what you would think and i don't want to ruin any surprises for you guys but sunday of this weekend we're picking up another barn find that has 7,000 miles on it and it's mega rare i'm not going to tell you what it is just know that it's very expensive very rare and crazy to find in the condition that we found it in. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, I would take a second and hit the subscribe button because you definitely don't want to miss that video. And the first thing that we did was start by blowing everything off of the car that we could with our leaf blower. And that's just because we didn't want it to get all over our shop. And I even stood there with the camera for you guys just to get the best shot possible. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll do it. Wait, wait, wait. Anything for you too. So I took one for the team for you guys, but anyways, moving the car into the shop, we finally started working on the engine where we came out with a very big surprise, something we've never seen in a car before, and I can guarantee nobody on YouTube has ever found in a car's engine bay. So for the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. What do you guys think this is? When you see it, comment what it is. Dude, what is that? Bro. <laughs> Dude, what is that? I think it's an opossum skeleton. Look at uh, his tail. Oh my gosh. What? How the How did it die in there? Bro. <laughs> Ew. That is disgusting. This is the grossest thing I've ever found in a car. Big guy, I can't smell it. So here it is. I was able to take a full high def picture of it. If you guys know what this is, leave a comment below. We were stunned when we found this in this car. We have absolutely never found something like this before. And it's, it's just mind blowing. And from just vacuuming out the engine bay and the jams, this is how much garbage we were able to get. A full garbage can and then everything else that was in the other one.
Okay, before using any soap on the car, we went ahead and cleaned the vinyl top. Now, what we use is a degreaser with some color lock bristle brushes. Um, they're pretty stiff, but they really did a good job. And this thing came out looking very good for its age. We were very surprised with what was underneath all of that grime and dirt. Okay, at this point we noticed some green stuff on the paint that might have been overspray at some point. Uh, we weren't 100% sure. If you guys have any idea what this is, leave it in the comments below. But we were able to get it off with the clay mitt and it was really satisfying to watch bringing that black paint back to life. Okay, with all that done, we'll do the polishing at the end of the detail, but moving on to the interior, just looking over this thing, a mouse made a complete home out of this car over the last 30 years. Neither of us have seen a car in this bad of shape with mouse nests before. They were on every part of the car that you could think of, and wait until we pulled out the back seat, what we found underneath that.
Okay, now that we got a good majority of that crud out of the way, we could finally get to the seat bolts and get these seats out. And as I mentioned, check out what we found underneath the back seat, another massive mouse nest. What do you know? But then we talked to the owner and he wanted us to take the carpet out of the car. It made no sense for us to clean it when it was completely drenched in mouse urine. It smelled horrendous and... I don't think there was any saving that carpet. So that's one reason. And then he was also curious if the floor pans were any good. And that also brings me to a question. Do you guys think that this car is a good candidate to be rebuilt? Or do you think it's more of a parts car? Let us know down below.
Okay, so this part was actually kind of therapeutic for me. It seems like whatever got on the paint also got on the window. So I grabbed a razor at about a 45 degree angle and I was able to just sit there and scrape it all off. It was time consuming. And if I hadn't, then the job would not be 100% done. And to save out the tired and worn out leather or vinyl, whatever they used in this car, I used some leather conditioner and the seats and all that are gonna soak it up and really become soft, supple again. And it gives it that dark black shine that you want on the finished product. But if you guys enjoyed this video, again, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because we have something really cool coming and we'll see you guys in the next one.